In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox game in 10 minutes. We're going to be creating an obstacle game which you can publish to Roblox, play with your friends, have fun, and maybe gain Robux. So let's get started. Welcome to my channel. I'm Blox Devs, and I'm all about making you learn how to make awesome games in Roblox and gain Robux by making games. And in this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make an obby under 10 minutes from scratch. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to install Roblox Studio. So to do this, all you're going to do is go over ahead in your browser and write roblox.com slash create. And it should lead you to this page and all you're going to do is click on start creating and it should open up roblox but if you do not have roblox studio then it will ask you to download it so this is how you download roblox studio and once it opens up you will find this little dashboard and you will go over and hit in base plate because this is what we need this is the only thing we need to start creating our obby so when you get in you will find this interface which you can see here all there is is a big giant block and there is as well here tabs and let me introduce you to those things so here is the toolbox and in the toolbox, you can simply get other people's models. So, example, I want to go over and take that street light if I want it for my game. I can just drag it in, I have to focus on it, and here you should see it. So, this is the, ex the, the, the toolbox, and let me present you as well to the explorer. So, in the explorer, you will see that it will say workspace, players, lighting, replicated first, replicated storage. We will not need a lot of those. We're not going to use replicated first and replicated storage, and we're not going to go deep into those um, uh, storages right in this video. But I am going to be showing you how to make an obby. So, there is going to be some scripting because obviously it is making your own obby from scratch. So here, if you go to workspace, which is where there, what there is in your space, you will find a base plate, which is the default really um, thing where you spawn. So if I go over and play, you will see that it will spawn on the base plate. That means that I'm spawning on the base plate. This is basically your spawn place. I just come over in the base plate. So this is where you spawn. And here you're going to find the properties panel which is the panel who represents who shows you the properties of an object so if we do if we select like workspace and properties it won't be the same properties as base plate because the base plate is an object and it will say the brick color the cast shadows those are, those are shadows this is as shadows this it doesn't it really changes depending on shadows or not as you can see here without shadows and this is with shadows and as well you will see the color and we can even change it let's say to something like blue and um, whatever you want you know there's different colors and the brick colors which you can choose that just um, take the default one which is that one they just keep on with the default one so now we're going to select the base plate go to the size just right size here and we are going to change the size so again if you don't know what is really roblox studio you've probably heard of roblox and if you go in you can play several games and roblox studio lets you post games into roblox one of those games that you see and you play could even be yours now that you will learn roblox studio so make sure to go over and subscribe and hit that bell and let's continue making our obstacle course and by the way if you do not see any of those windows 
example you don't see explorer you don't see the toolbox you don't see those you can just open up those windows here example you can click on the toolbox and it will appear again and you can just open up the windows from here toolbox and you can get rid of the property so if you see actually if you do if you do not see anything and your screen does look like this then you can simply go over and open it back like it was by simply doing like this and putting everything back like it was before so now let's continue making our obstacle course by again changing the size of our base plate changing the size to make our spawn place so we're just going to go and sh change the size we're going to change it to 25 2 because we want it to be 2 studs and 25 so if you click, okay let's focus on it so this is where we will spawn a little place a little base plate it's basically the base plate but in mini version so um, I made it small so I made it 25 by here and by here and it will be simply two studs it will be two studs the studs two studs will be not really large it will be less large because before it was much larger and I can show you the difference by just making this number bigger and as you can see it will become much larger much like a cube and as well I can make it smaller so it will look more skinny than before but I would I prefer just staying letting it at two it looks pretty good so now we're simply going to go over and change the material let's just let it plastic actually and we're going to change the um, we're going to go here and change the surface from um, studs, the top surface, which is that one, from studs to smooth. So as you can see now, everything looks smooth. It doesn't look like before, like, like that. So you can change it to several ones, like if you want it to be different than from studs, you can change it from hinge. Which is going to have a little thing here. And you can even change it from hinge to smooth now outlines. Which is more like that. And as well, you can even change it to blue. Which is going to look like this. So it's really up to you. Personalize it like you want. But I will simply let it to smooth. So right now, let's keep on making our obstacle course go on a workspace and simply insert a part here click ctrl 2 which is a shortcut for the move tool or you can simply go over and click here to select the tool you want and now let's make our obstacle course let's make it start by simply making it control control 3 for Control 2, Control 4, Control, Control 3 for the scale tool. Here, let's just make it start like this. Control D for duplicate. And let's make it go up. So you gotta jump and jump and jump. Kind of a pretty easy start because obviously it is our parkour game and now we're going to quickly just change the colors and here as you can see we've changed the colors and it looks great so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here um, and insert a spawn so this is where we will spawn you can actually even change so you put collisions so this will collide and if you want it to pass through you need to push a bit harder so collisions is good especially if you want to put stuff on top of the other one 
and here will be the spawn but let me actually just put the collisions off and drag that spawn a bit down so you cannot see it all so you cannot see it looks good so now if we play obviously you're gonna see something happening and this is totally normal so if we play you're gonna effectively spawn but you're not gonna see those stuff why because you forgot to anchor them so you need to anchor them and anchor means to let them in the air to let them floating and to make them not affected by the gravity so anchored you can just find it here if you go here you can find it everywhere home model but not in test not in those ones just in home and model you will find anchor or you can simply go to your properties and write anchored and check it on so here I selected all of them and checked anchored on can collide is to make them effectively collide with stuff and of, of course we want to keep can collide on or the players were simply would simply pass through them so now if we test you're gonna see that they're here and we can effectively jump on them but we can't right now because I put them too far away so let's just simply put them closer save our file to obby game I didn't even write it right because of my keyboard it's okay though so let's continue let me just change my keyboard real quick and now let's take our base plates duplicate it and drag it here to make our first checkpoint here we're simply gonna start designing our level So as you can see here, I've just made this, and let's take those and place them like this. Put in can collide collisions on. So here we want them to collide to be on the surface, like this. Scale them like that. So whenever the collide the player will collide with them they will get eliminated and to do this we're gonna make a quick script save and we're going to go and create a script here so yeah we're gonna do some scripting right now to bring your game to life so all we're gonna do is script dot parent dot touched connect function and hit here after we're gonna do if that parent double the find first child so we're gonna do like this and simply write humanoid because you want to find the child, which is the um, a component of the hit, the parent of the hit, which is the object who hits um, the um, our parts. We want to find its humanoid, which is the um, it's like the body. So when an object have and has a has a humanoid, it can die. But if it doesn't have a humanoid, then it cannot die. So obviously the player is going to die. So it does have a humanoid. And we're gonna do then hit. Sorry. Dot parent. Dot parent hit dot parent double dot break joints like this so if you don't know what is break joints break joints is when so when the the object our part will hit uh, a certain object which is uh, the parent so it will find for cell the humanoid so if the object that gets hit it has a humanoid 
that means it can be it can die then it breaks the joints and in roblox if you already played a game and you already got eliminated then your, your character goes in pieces and this is what is break joints now if you go over and play if we play you can see we spawn here we have a little fun jumping and if we collide with this if we collide with this i'm just trying to jump over right now if we collide with this we are going to get eliminated and obviously respawn at our spawn place yay it's working our game is getting alive i have duplicated those several times so it is obviously you know I will go over as well and group all those parts. So one model is all the kill breaks, and I will rename that model to kill breaks because those breaks kill you. Okay, let me get the second base plate and put in kill breaks as well. So now we can move the whole base plate. Nice and organized game. Okay, so after. We are just going to make so you jump on balls. So to do this easier, you can just go over and write balls, a ball here. Let's write a ball, and there is just going to be you can just drag it in and scale it up and make it. That's the first way to do it, and obviously the second way is to do simply go over and make a part. And change its shape to a ball and if I duplicate that one and go over to shape and I change from block to ball then it will be like this so there are two ways and I prefer the one where you change it to a ball because obviously the uh, in model sometimes there's, there's like uh, they advertise their game and they make other stuff so I obviously just just make a ball just make a circle and it's gonna work. And we're gonna make like this. We need to jump on them. Just like this. Like that. Now let's continue again. And here. I just put that a bit back so the player can jump on it at first and put it like this. Now let me change the ball's colors. like this and now let's go over and select this which is a base plate so this one duplicate and drag it all the way there focus on it let's save and if we play we should have our working complete obby Yes, look at that. Doo -doo -doo. Can I beat my own obby? Or my new guys? 
Uh, I think that's a pretty easy obby, and you can obviously make it way longer. I'm just showing you the basics, and I'm showing you how to make a quick obby. So here it is, guys. You've just made your first game, or maybe it's not your first, but you've just made your own game from scratch. I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, and um, as well, comment down below. What else should I do? And subscribe to join, obviously. And you can even, if you're a subscriber, then I give you more advantage. You can ask whatever you want, or if I have time, or if I know, I can. Um, try to make it for you so again like that video if it helped you and remember this is from scratch and you are beginning to be a scripter by knowing how to make this kill you so I hope you guys have enjoyed that video make sure to again like and subscribe and see you for the next video and as you can see, there's a lot to experiment with making games, making obbies. You can even add stuff from the toolbox to personalize it and do more. If you like that video, then don't mind. Just go over hit a like and please subscribe so you know when other awesome videos goes out. And you would be as well able to ask me anything you want or any idea. You can give me ideas for content. Thank you so much for watching and bye for the next tutorial.